If you're on the Facebook page, then you must have seen this boost post button at the bottom right of your post. You know what? Here's one tip for you. Don't push it, don't use it. Don't push this button. Hi everyone, I'm Jake and today I'm going to show you why you shouldn't use the boost post function for a Facebook ad and what you should do instead. First of all, let's do a quick recap. Do you remember when the boost post started to appear on Facebook? Well, it first appeared back in around 2012, but it's not as boost post, instead it's known as promote post. Later, promote post became boost post and received more updates. But its purpose remained the same, offering a quick, easy way for you to reach more people by paying Facebook. And then in late 2013, people around the world started reporting a dip in their Facebook organic reach. Facebook has begun a quest to make more money. The time has come. Execute Order 66. First, they do that by limiting the organic reach. No more free advertising for page owner anymore. You and I, if you want to reach our target audience, we need to cough out our money. As the organic reach has collapsed over the past few years, many page owners are turning to boost posts to get their message in front of audiences. So, is this boost post the only easy way for you to show your message to your target audience? Well, the answer is no. Boost post is easy to use, but also is very limiting. You have very little control over how you can be seen by your target audience. And because of that, that is actually not good for app optimization as well as not good for your wallet. Now, what happens when you hit the boost post button? When you click it, a pop-up box will appear and then there will be some really basic settings for you to choose, such as adding in button, selecting audience, budget and duration. It might look fine, but the issue lies with the audience setting. There are very few options for you to do your targeting. A better way to do this is to use Ad Manager instead. It's easy to implement and you can get it all done within 5 minutes. Now, let's get started. Log in to your Facebook, look on the left hand corner and search for Ad Manager. Click on it. Next, click on the hamburger menu, go to Page Post, you will now see all your page posts. Click on Publish Post and then select the post you wanted to boost. Click on Action, Create Ad. A box will pop up and now you just need to enter the campaign name and add set name. Then, click on Save to Draft. This should bring you to the Ads Manager section. Now, on the right, you can click on the Ad Set to make the changes. The main advantage are the access to the custom audience, placement and the advanced exclude button. Why are these important? Custom audience allow you to target people who are important to your business. They can be people who visited your website, purchased from you before, or even simply engage or know about you. You can also upload existing customer lists, such as their email or their phone number into Facebook, and then get Facebook to create a lookalike audience for you to use as targeting. You can also use custom audience to create complex evergreen campaigns for your lead nurturing. Custom audience by itself is a big topic and I shall not delve in too much in this video. Perhaps I will do a next video about it next time. Okay, once you're happy with all the settings, just click publish and you are done. Congrats, you have created an ad using Ad Manager. Okay, now I have one bonus tip for you. If you have promoted your Facebook post and would like to edit them now, you will realize that you can't. Facebook has disabled the option for you to edit any ads that are linked to an existing ad. It doesn't matter if the ad is active or not active. As long as the post is associated to an ad, you will not be able to edit them. To edit a promoted post, you need to go to Ad Manager. Look for the ad, select it, and unlink that post by linking another post to it. Then, you can edit the post before linking it back to the ad. By using this method, your edited post will retain its original social proof. All the comments, like, and share will still be there. Okay, now it's your turn. Will you be promoting your post using Ad Manager or Boost Post? Comment yes if you will or comment no if you prefer Boost Post. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it and comment below. I'll be happy to answer any question you have. Thank you for watching.